Hey everyone, this is Jody from Bird Dog Off-Road Adventures, and today we're going to talk to you guys about the new Glue Tread Expedition Kit that we're going to use on our Ford Bronco when we hit the Rubicon later this year. Stay tuned. Alright, so first and foremost, let me just put this out there. We are not going to go out and stab our brand, fairly new 30-inch uh, tall tires which are about three, four hundred, about four hundred fifty bucks a tire. We're not going to do that for this demonstration. There's plenty of videos out there. Our friends at Morflate, who we're affiliate with, also uh, has a video where they did the Rubicon with their uh, Toyota, as well as many, many other ones. This is be quickly becoming a good standard for off-roading rigs, uh, and it's not just Jeeps and Broncos and Toyotas. It's also side by sides, ATVs, and such. So. Uh, Glue Tread is a brand that I was well aware of after seeing some videos on YouTube. And they reached out to us and said they wanted to partner with us. We're going to be an affiliate with them. And they sent us this kit to have out. So full disclosure, we were going to buy the kit anyway. It was on our list. You know, uh, we had been seeing the videos. We wanted to get it. We just hadn't gotten around to it yet because of competing interest. So we're very happy to become a, become a, a partner with them and affiliate of theirs. So our particular kit, which is called the Expedition Kit, Includes the sidewall patches, which most of you all see, the replacement valve stems, and the puncture, which is these bad boys. We use these bad boys. Now, we've had a similar kit from one of the other uh, big time uh, vendors in the off road community. We've never had to use it, thank God. You know, these are, one, these are the things that you buy that you hope you never have to use. Um, so, but they're good to have. So, the package here comes with everything in it that you need. The big thing, instructions. So if you're out in the middle of nowhere and you don't have the ability to pull up YouTube, uh, which <laughs> most of the time you don't, uh, they do have instructions here. They do have a QR code as well for a video if you do have signal. But it gives you a quick one-on-one -on -one instruction of the process to use these. I would recommend that you watch a few of the videos, get yourself familiar. We'll put a link to the one that we watched uh, down below so you guys can see it. Also, Glue Tread has their own YouTube channel as well that they have plenty of videos linked up that uh, goes through these processes very thoroughly. Like I said, since we're not going to be puncturing our expensive tires, uh, you're not going to see one here. Uh, but, you know, it comes with, looks like here's some sandpaper, some patches. Oh, here's the sandpaper, I'm sorry. Uh, all kinds of different sizes of patches. Here's the plugs. Uh, some little tools here, looks like. Your adhesive. And then your Colby valve stem replacement. So that's something else you got to be thankful. A lot of people don't think about the valve stems, but they are definitely something that, that, are, uh, that can also come into play when you're out on the trails. So... Uh, you know, it doesn't have their accelerator in this kit, so we'll probably go back and purchase that uh, because I do like that because otherwise you have to hold it on there for like, you have to let it settle for like 30 minutes to an hour according to some of the other videos, but we probably will go back and buy the accelerator kit just so that way we're not, you know, fiddle farting around on the trail. We can get going and do our thing. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of good things about this. I can I can go on and on all day about it, and I won't because I don't want to bore you all to tears but you know if you don't trust my word for it go look them out and check them out for yourself we do have an affiliate link and a discount code so if you would like to purchase one of these we'd really appreciate if you do us a solid and use our link uh, it's a very small commission we're not making lots of money on youtube we're actually losing money because we don't we don't make enough on these videos to cover the cost of everything we do because we do contrary to popular belief buy most of the stuff that we use so uh any help's good. We're not going to sit here and try to beg you guys with Patreons or any of that other stuff. That's for the big boys. We're just doing this for fun. So, anyway, I'll quit rambling on. Uh, you know, we'll do some footage of the supplies that are in the bag for you guys to look at. And other than that, you know, please, like I said, check it out. If you have any questions, please ask them below. Uh, we'll do our best to answer it, you know, um, as best we can. I know one of the, thing, the first things I asked was shelf life. They did say that it was up to two years, I think, for the adhesive is what they recommend, even though they said they've used them. But they also tell you in their videos to turn the tube upside down before you go out on the trail. And I'll tell you how, if the adhesive's solidified or not. Something else, too, is that this is not made to be used off-road. This is made for you to get off the trail. 
So if you're in a trail like the Rubicon or some of these other trails where you're not going to be able to get Matt's off-road recovery in there to help you out, plus you don't want to pay thousands of dollars to have somebody do that, uh, this will get you out. Some people say that they don't use a spare because they have this. I'm not going to go that far because you could have multiple tires. So, you know, at some point, you know, you're going to have to get off that trail and, and try to get back on the highway and get there. I'm going to still carry my spare. But anyway, some people elect not to do that. Nothing wrong with that. But I just don't want to do that myself. But, uh, yeah, so we'll do some footage. All right, so like I said, sanding paper. Here's a little guide on how to put the glue in, adhesive in, I should say. Here's a pack of a ton of adhesives, a bunch of them. Uh, the patches themselves, they have two different sizes. It's pretty thick size, and you can cut this to make it smaller. Uh, the, this sleeve fits over these two together. This is the screw and the, I don't know what you call it, but you poke it in the tire to put the plugs in. And then you have, of course, your valve stem and some other quick tools over here. Uh, this is just something that comes on the package. Like I said, it's the sidewall vest. Uh, this is the instructions that come with it as well. And it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. It also has a QR code if you do have access. Some pro tips on here. Like I said before, we're going to get the accelerator uh, just because we're impatient as hell. So some other things I've seen on the videos is that sometimes people will take a grinder, angle grinder with them, because if you get a cut on where like the letters are on the tire, you have to make that flat. So you can spend all day sanding or you can get you like a little grinder or Dremel or something, smooth those out, make it a lot quicker. So just something to consider and peace out. As always, thank you for watching. I uh, really appreciate you guys watching the channel. Please hit that subscribe button and like button. Uh, like I said before, we do have a link. So please consider using that if you make this purchase. We also have some videos for reference. I also have a discount code, so get your discount. Peace.